Upgrade assistant. Hey there, I'm CJ Senazal. I lead a team of engineers at Elastic that's responsible for helping stack administrators optimize their deployments to be cost-effective, healthy, and reliable. Now, as you may be aware, version eight of the Elastic stack is coming out soon. And when it does, we're gonna start releasing a ton of cool new features like time series database, um, enhancements to Elastic Agent, and new features for our search observability and security solutions. Now, if you've ever upgraded the Elastic stack to a new major version before, you might be familiar with some of the challenges involved. Today, I'm gonna to talk about those challenges. And as I do, I'm gonna talk about Upgrade Assistant, which is the app my team is making to help you with the upgrade process. Of course, the dream is to make upgrading as easy as clicking a button. We ship new features all the time, and we want those features to be in your hands as quickly as possible. And we know that to do that, we need to make the upgrade process as easy as possible. We need to reduce or even completely eliminate friction from upgrading. Now, the reality is that upgrading is hard. I've talked to many folks like yourselves, and I've heard firsthand that Elastic has so many new features packed into minor releases that even upgrading from one minor to the next can be a challenge. If you've got a big deployment with a lot of data in it, then upgrading that to a new major version can be just super frustrating. Um, the good news is we're aware of these challenges and uh, we're working hard on addressing them. So without further ado, let's say hello to the hero of our story, Upgrade Assistant. Upgrade Assistant is an app in Kibana. It's your one-stop shop for preparing your deployment for a major version upgrade. We introduced it in version 5.6. And at the time, it was pretty good at surfacing the basic blockers that impeded you from upgrading and helping you address them primarily through re-indexing. For version 6.8, we put a lot of time and effort into improving the user experience by making the UI uh, more stable, robust, and user-friendly. And we're continuing this trend into version uh, 7.16. We spent a lot of time building some great new features that I'm very excited about that are designed specifically to help you deal with the most common challenges that folks encounter when upgrading. This is the version that you're gonna to use to upgrade to version eight of the Elastic Stack. And this is what it looks like. We've designed the, the homepage to act as an overview, uh, a series of steps that you can follow to guide you through that process. And you can scan each step and see if it's complete or not, and look more closely to learn more details about what you need to address that step and complete it. The first step, of course, is to back up your data. You know, preparing for a major version upgrade means making changes to your data. And uh, in the event something goes wrong, we don't want those changes to result in data loss. So we want you to have that data backed up. And here you can see when you last created that backup, you can create the, you can click the link to learn more details about it. And you can click that Create Snapshot button to back up your data again. Now, let's say you've got your data backed up and you're good to go. The next thing you're going to want to do is address deprecation issues in your data. And these issues can come from Elasticsearch or Kibana. For now, we're going to focus on Elasticsearch. What Elasticsearch will do is it'll take a look at the data in your cluster and let you know if there are any uh, deprecated settings in play in your indices, in your nodes, or in your cluster itself. When you click that panel, you get taken into a uh, list of deprecations. This shows you all the different issues coming from Elasticsearch. Here you can see in information on the severity of the issue. You can see whether it's critical or non-critical. If it's critical, you're going to want to address that issue before upgrading. If it's non-critical, then you can you know, review that information and decide whether, for yourself whether or not it affects you and whether or not you should address it or ignore it. You can also learn more about the, the details behind this deprecation issue um, and also the steps you'll have to take for resolving it and whether that resolution is uh, automated or manual. Before we get into resolutions, let's talk about data. Elasticsearch has a bunch of great features, but it's probably best known for its ability to help you rapidly search through tons of data. And tons of data sounds great, but in the context of upgrades, it can become a little scary. And this is because when you prepare for a major version upgrade, you need to change the shape of your data to be compatible with a major version you're upgrading to. To change the shape of your data, you're going to use a special process in Elasticsearch called re-indexing. 
Reindexing consists of copying documents from one index to another. And as you copy those documents over, Elasticsearch will make changes to those documents. Now that sounds easy, but there are other complications you have to consider uh, that can make doing so uh, manually difficult. Uh, to start with, you'll need to prepare your source index uh, for reindexing. You'll have to do that by stopping any jobs that might interfere with the reindex process. You also want to set that index to be read only so that documents aren't being added to the index as you're copying documents out of it. You also want to prepare that destination index by setting the correct mappings and settings and kick off that reindex task, which can be rather long running. And when that task is over, you'll need to clean up after it. And this means creating an alias for that old index so that any requests that are sent to it are rerouted to the new index. And you'll need to do that before deleting that old index. Fortunately, Upgrade Assistant can do all that work for you. Let's say you clicked on a deprecation issue that, res that requires a, uh, a re-index to resolve it. You'll see a panel like this. This panel shows you all of the different changes that will be made to your data when it re-indexes that data. And what it'll do is it'll require you to acknowledge those changes by checking the checkbox next to each, uh, each change. And we're doing this because we want to make sure that the, the re-index process doesn't make any changes to your data that you're not, you're not comfortable with. Now, let's say you've checked off and acknowledged all those changes and you, you click the continue with re-index button. What that'll do is they'll kick off the re-index process and Upgrade Assistant will show you the progress of the re-index. Uh, and then when it's done, it'll show you a notification. But re-indexing isn't all that Upgrade Assistant can do for you. Let's say there are also deprecated settings inside uh, one of your indices. Upgrade Assistant can automatically remove those settings for you. If you click one of those issues and you see a panel like this, you'll see information about the settings that will be removed. You can click the Remove Deprecated Settings button and let Upgrade Assistant do the rest. Of course, not all resolutions can be automated. Some resolutions require choices to be made that Upgrade Assistant just can't make for you. And in these situations, what Upgrade Assistant will do is it'll show you a panel with information about the resolution, about the deprecation issue, and a link so you can learn more about it and learn more about what you'll need to do to manually resolve that deprecation issue. So, so far we've gone, gone over Elasticsearch deprecations, but deprecations can come from Kibana too. That's why in this version of Upgrade Assistant, we've added this great new feature that shows you information about deprecation issues in Kibana and helps you resolve them. When you click this panel, you'll see another table, this time listing all the deprecation issues related to Kibana. You'll see similar information as the previous table I showed you, information about status, uh, severity, and uh, whether uh, the resolution involves uh, a manual or automated step. Many Kibana issues can't be resolved automatically. But even so, Upgrade Assistant will list out the steps you'll need to take to resolve the issue yourself and link you to relevant documentation. Now, of course, for some Kibana deprecations, there will be an automatic resolution. And in cases like these, Upgrade Assistant will give you a button you can click to automatically resolve it. So far, we've covered deprecations to the data inside your deployment. But we also need to consider the external applications that might be communicating with your deployment. To give an example, you might have an application that's using the Elasticsearch Index API to ingest data into your deployment. Let's say this Index API changes in the next major version and you upgrade, then requests that are being sent to the deployment might start failing and the flow of data into your deployment might be interrupted. Of course, we don't want that. Fortunately, we have a solution for you. Elasticsearch can emit deprecation logs whenever it detects a deprecated API feature being used by a request. You can enable this feature by clicking the toggle in Upgrade Assistant. Once you do this, Elasticsearch will start storing these deprecation logs in a special index in the cluster. You can use the Observability Logs app to, to analyze these logs. You can also use the Discover app to sift through massive amounts of data and spot patterns. What's really cool is that Upgrade Assistant will also help you address these logs with a brand new feature called Logging Checkpoints. Here's how they work. Once you set a checkpoint, Upgrade Assistant will keep track of how many deprecation logs have been emitted since you set that checkpoint. Let's say you've fixed and redeployed all the applications that were triggering deprecation logs. Now you need a way to verify that your fixes were effective. 
This is where the logging checkpoint comes in. Resetting the checkpoint will set the deprecation log counter to zero. You can just wait a period of time. And if there are no new logs emitted, if that counter stays at zero, you can treat that as confirmation that the changes you deployed were effective. And that's the last step in Upgrade Assistant. Once you're done preparing for your deployment to be upgraded, you can hop on over to the Cloud Admin Console, click the Upgrade button, and let Cloud do the rest. We're looking forward to continuing this journey and making the upgrade process even easier until upgrades really are as easy as clicking a button. Thank you.